So, Terry Deacon, I'm excited to talk to you about the master class called The Science of the Noosphere, uh, organized by human energy. So let's take these one at a time. What is this word, noosphere, which was coined uh, exactly 100 years ago? Noosphere, on the analogy of the biosphere or the geosphere, basically the biosphere, of course, is the life that encompasses the Earth, the sphere of the Earth fully encloses the Earth. In many respects, the noosphere is analogous to that, but it's referring uh, to ideas or thoughts or mind. Uh, nos from the Greek uh, basically has to do with ideas or mind. Uh, and so it's the mental activity that encompasses the Earth, mostly now engaged in uh, human communications. Teilhard de Chardin was actually one of three people who uh, who um, originated this term. And let's hear about uh, mostly about uh, Teilhard. So Teilhard de Chardin, a Jesuit priest who became very much interested uh, in paleontology early in his life. Uh, he was actually sent to China um, and worked with some of the, the foremost Chinese paleontologist at the time was involved in the discovery of what we now call Homo erectus, but at the time was called Peking man. Um, and as a result, tried to bring together his thinking about evolution and particularly human evolution uh, with his thoughts about um, the Christian religion and the future of human beings. And in response to both of these views of the world, the evolutionary worldview and, of course, uh, the Catholic worldview. And as a result, he um, constructed this idea that, in effect, human thought would begin to expand over the earth uh, and we would become much more unified over time by virtue of sharing uh, this, you know, in a sense, common uh, mental information, sort of like the common mental DNA, where we'd all share this common basis. And his idea was that this would develop over time, maybe over thousands and thousands of years, uh, but effectively we would become progressively more unified by virtue of this shared information. Right. And so uh, Teilhard was both a scientist and a priest. And, uh, and uh, but nowadays he's, he's uh, still read widely for his spiritual quality, but has been mostly forgotten by uh, scientists. And so the science of the noosphere is basically an attempt to update Teilhard from a modern scientific perspective. And the real key concept here, which we both know well, is the concept of major evolutionary transition. So, so, so what's the modern rendition of, of the noosphere? And why does it matter? Why, why should anyone care about the noosphere? One of the things that stands out about the history of life on Earth is it's become progressively more complex, but not just in sort of a continuous way, as you mentioned. It's in steps. Uh, there's major transitions that mostly involve, at one point in time, uh, organisms that were autonomous and small uh, that get together into clusters. So, for example, this the standard one that we're all very familiar with, of course, is a multi-celled organism like ourselves made up of individual cells, trillions of individual cells that now cooperate in an extraordinary way uh, to make this higher order unit. Uh, Teilhard saw this as a sort of pattern of life in general, uh, maybe even a cosmic tendency uh, in which living processes become more and more organized, they converge, uh, they become more complex, uh, more uh, expansive, and he felt that the evolution of humans was a special case because now it's not just that we are sharing molecular features in common, that is our inheritance, our biological inheritance, but now also our mental inheritance. Uh, and as civilization has developed, more and more people have become interconnected with each other. We share ideas with people that date back thousands of years that have influenced our thinking today. And Teilhard basically saw this as a, another, as we would call it today, major transition, that maybe human beings are beginning collectively to produce a larger, almost super organism made up of all the minds interacting and communicating with each other in the same sense that the cells interacted and communicate to build our bodies, a major transition. So the noosphere was really this sort of globalization of human intellect. 
So there's a grand story to be told that begins with the origin of life and then proceeds to higher and higher levels of biological organizations and then the origin of human life and then and then cultural evolution undergoing major transitions, bringing us up to the present, and then of course extrapolating into the future, uh, which of course we don't know what it is, uh, might be or might not be some kind of global super um, organism. So that's the panoramic view that uh, is the science of the noosphere. Now, well, what is human energy, the organization that's sponsoring this? And then I'll finish up by describing the master class. Human energy, of course, is a, a group that is focused on understanding and spreading the idea of the noosphere so that we can, in a, in a conscious sense, in a self-conscious sense, understand uh, what we're doing to the world collectively and how we are, in a sense, interacting collectively to produce a larger and larger, more integrated uh, thinking process that, that we are all engaged in as part partners. Uh, <clears throat> human energy uh, started by a man named Ben Kassira, in which he wants to, in a sense, spread the information about the noosphere so that this organization is one that's both an educational and a scientific organization uh, that, first of all, wants to understand the processes that are involved. Uh, that's the science of it. But also make the ideas more available to the general public so that everybody can conceive of the problem and perhaps begin to play a role, a conscious role in understanding how it might work well for our future or, or might problems might be avoided. Right. And so one of the projects of human energy is a series of videos called The Science of the Noosphere, 24 videos uh, that, take, uh, that, that take a deep dive into this arc from the origin of life to the future of the internet age with some of the most amazing people I've ever had conversations um, uh, with. So there's an amazing series of videos, uh, which is already available on the Human Energy website. And the master class will basically take a cohort of participants um, on a journey using this material and interacting with some of the great people that are featured in the uh, video. So it is an amazing opportunity, free, free of charge, uh, to, uh, to take this journey with some very exciting people. And when you think about whether such a thing is right for you, then um, as long as you're highly motivated to learn, highly excited to learn, then this course is for you. We're hoping that the participants in this course is diverse in every way. We want scientists, we want professors, we want students, we want social entrepreneurs, we want technocrats, we want futurists, we want artists, we want young, old, we want all cultures beyond weird, white, educated, industrial, rich, democratic. Uh, and so it, won't it be fun to have a group of, of, I don't want to call them students because they're participants basically, interacting with this amazing cast of characters that we've put together and to take this journey uh, together. So this begins on July 1, it runs for three months, um, and it's free of charge, and uh, one does need to apply. So uh, I encourage uh, you to apply and to take part in this amazing experience that is being offered. Thank you, Terry. Thank you.